Hi guys, I am Navgan Misra with you to discuss the important topics regarding mathematics. Hope you have to enjoy this session. My dear student, regarding altitude of the triangles, the line segment drawn from a vertex of a triangle perpendicular to the opposite sides. And here in the triangle ABC, suppose that this triangle is ABC and you know that it has three vertices and the vertices are A, B and C. And my dear, uh, what are the opposite side of each vertex? Opposite side of A is actually BC. Opposite side of B is AC. And opposite side of C is actually AB. And here you have to draw perpendicular from A to its opposite side. And perpendicular means, you know that perpendicular means actually 90 degree. So you have to draw from A uh, on opposite side to its opposite side BC 90 degree. And suppose that this one is D. So AD is known as altitude of this triangle or perpendicular on BC. So AD can be considered as altitude or height uh, of these triangles. Question arises, how many altitude can you draw? Actually a triangle has three vertices and this is why uh, three, from three vertices three altitude can be drawn. And uh, you can just see that from A, A, D, this altitude has been drawn just now. And from B, you can draw, suppose that B, E, and it should be perpendicular on A, C, because it is the opposite side of the vertex B. And similarly, from C, you can draw uh, on the opposite side of this vertex is A, B, a perpendicular you have just drawn suppose that cf and in all the condition you have just seen that be perpendicular on ac because ac is the opposite uh, side of the vertex b and uh, cf perpendicular on ab and this ab is opposite side of the vertex C. So how many altitude can be drawn? Actually three altitude can be drawn by the definition. So here it has line segment drawn from a vertex of a triangle perpendicular to the opposite side. And uh, it is drawn from opposite sides and also perpendicular. So all three are altitudes now. So uh, in a triangle, three maximum altitudes are possible. Uh, in this figure, AD, BE and CF are three altitudes. And you have also noticed that these three altitudes meet at this point. And where the meeting point, when three altitude of the triangles meets, uh, at the point, then the point is known as uh, ortho center. The point is known as ortho center. Meeting point of three altitude is known as ortho center. So if you name it as O, then O is known as ortho center of this triangle. My dear student, regarding the definition of ortho center uh, that the point of intersection of three altitude, I have just discussed that in case of PQR, if you draw the altitude, three altitude, I have just drawn the first altitude PX, then PY, uh, and after that 
पी एक्स क्यू वाई एंड आर जेड एंड हेयर द मीटिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दिस वन इज ओ सो पॉइंट ऑफ हेयर थ्री अल्टीट्यूड्स आर एक्चुअली थ्री अल्टीट्यूड्स आर विच अल्टीट्यूड्स एक्चुअली पी एक्स क्यू वाई एंड आर जेड एंड वेयर दिस थ्री अल्टीट्यूड मीट्स एक्चुअली थ्री अल्टीट्यूड मीट्स एट ओ एंड देयर देयर फोर ओ इज नोन एज इन दिस फिगर ओ इज द ऑर्थो सेंटर वाई ऑर्थो सेंटर बिकॉज यू नो वेरी वेल दैट दिस थ्री अल्टीट्यूड मीट एट दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस इज वाई ओ इज नोन एज ऑर्थो सेंटर इन दिस गिव हैंड फिगर माई डियर स्टूडेंट रिगार्डिंग परपेंडिकुलर बाइ सेक्टर ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द ट्रेंगल परपेंडिकुलर यू नो वेरी वेल दैट मीन्स नाइंटी डिग्री एंड बाइ सेक्टर मीन्स बाई सेक्ट बाई मीन्स टू एंड सेक्ट मीन्स कट्स एक्चुअली वेन यू डिवाइड इन टू टू इक्वल हाफ्स दैन इट इज नोन एज बाई सेक्ट एंड इन दिस परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर सपोज दैट दिस इज ए बी एम सी हाँ दिस इज ए ट्राइंगल एंड हेयर सपोज दैट यू हैव टेक एन ओ and this o actually bisect into two equal parts so o is known as midpoint or middle points and and what is its meaning uh, actually bo is equal to oc is equal to bc upon 2 when any point bisect any side then uh it divide into two equal parts and it is known as bisect because it divides into two equal parts and if you draw a line which passes through this midpoint then and also perpendicular to the side then this line is known as suppose that this line is l then this line l is known as perpendicular bisector so not only perpendicular on this side but also it divides the side into two equal parts and you know that uh, it can easily uh, you uh, drawn with the help of a compasses ruler and pencil and how can you do so uh, when you have to draw the perpendicular bisector a line segment which has given then you can do it easily at first with the help of a ruler you have to draw a line segment then by the help of compasses you have to at this center suppose that this center is a and this one is b then from a you have to take an arc ah uh, up and down of this line segments from a and again the same radius containing arc uh, you have to take from b as center and bisect it and after that with the help of a scale you have to draw a line which passes through this intersecting where the arc uh, has intersected this line is known as actually perpendicular bisector because it not only divides ab into two equal parts but also it is uh, drawn 90 degree you have to draw the similar perpendicular bisector uh, 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 on side abc ac and ab because a triangle has three sides so how many perpendicular bisector you can just draw actually three perpendicular bisector you are able to draw because Uh, all the sides are having suppose that this side is p as midpoint and uh, the line which passes through uh, this um, uh, midpoint p and uh, 
uh, also for 90 degree means perpendicular then this line is known as perpendicular bisector and also uh, if it has been drawn suppose that this one Q is the midpoint of AB and the line which drawn and it also perpendicular on AB then it is also known as perpendicular bisector so how many perpendicular bisector can be drawn actually three perpendicular bisector can be drawn in any triangles and you have also noticed that this is the point where all three perpendicular bisector meets and this point of intersection is known as circumcenter of a triangle so uh, regarding the definition of the perpendicular bisector the lines drawn perpendicular to the side of a triangle through their middle point or it can be written as midpoint through midpoint the perpendicular that is passes that is known as perpendicular bisector of the side of the triangles my dear student regarding the definition of the circumcenter of the triangle i have just mentioned that a uh, perpendicular three perpendicular bisectors can be drawn in the case of the triangle the point of intersection of uh, three perpendicular bisector then it is known as uh, circumcenter of the triangle and uh, you can just see that in the case of this triangle a b c and you have to draw three perpendicular bisector suppose that this is the midpoint midpoint and midpoint and you know that the line pass 